biggest news other than Thursday night football has definitely been the Gus Edwards injury. Um, this is very sad. Like what's going on? I just, I can't, I can't believe it, but you know, it is what it is. And I think, I think Tyson Williams is going to have a huge week one. So Tyson Williams starting running back for the Ravens going up against the Raiders. I think he's going to absolutely ball out maybe 20 fantasy points. I'm starting him in most leagues and I'm managing, I'm man, I'm co-managing a league with Chris Smooth, and he already put him on the trade block because next, what's the next step after week one, we're seeing a huge mess. Now, just now Latavius Murray is expected to sign with the team. I don't know if that's official, but I'm just going to say that's, I mean, we're going to assume that's going to happen. Official. Yeah. So first, okay, let's do, let's do a quick rewrite. They lose Mark Ingram to the Texans. Um, they lose JK Dobbins season ending injury. They lose justice Hill season ending injury. They lose, Gus Bus season ending injury. I mean, this is just disgusting. And then they sign Le'Veon Bell, right? That's Correct. the first guy they sign. Then they yep. sign right after Devontae Freeman. No. And now yep. they're signing Latavius Murray. Like, this is like this is like if somebody took the sticks and Madden and just started messing with your franchise. <laughs> Like you just go through that free agent list and just start adding all these big names, these has beens, and it's like, oh man, it's very true. It's gonna be a mess because look, Tyson Williams, like he looks good and he's worked hard, and you know he, not a good necessarily good prospect, but maybe that's the same with Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards wasn't really that good his first year in the league, but has turned into an incredible runner. And it's just going to be a huge headache. I think you, I think you want to trade Tyson Williams away. Yeah, I mean that's a good point. And I heard another point in the Discord day. You know, wait till week one, see if you can get more for him after he goes off against the Raiders, like you're saying. Uh, but the other point that was made too by Bob, actually, I have to give him credit. He said that because of the way they run their offense, um, that the mesh point and giving that handoff off. Um, that Tyson Williams has a leg up on everybody because they don't have chemistry. Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, or Latavius Murphy, they don't have any chemistry with Lamar Jackson. So that's a big deal, I guess. Because of all those, like the quarterback uh, RPOs, RPOs, basically. Exactly. So when there's that handoff and that, you know, it's very intricate, I guess, or... Yeah, no, it is. That's why it works well, because that those little details, they do well, and defenders don't know what's going on. And yeah, if you if you fumble it, that's that's bad, you know. It could be an instant turnover and basically lose the game. Um, we got a couple of questions if you want to ask. And these they're these on questions are all the same. I don't want any of them. These, these, <laughs> if, they're, if they're about Ravens running backs, I don't want them, because it's, it's honestly all the same. And uh, I'm not being a jerk. It's just how like analysts on Twitter are saying the same. They're, they're all the same freaking questions. So I'm answering it with just one statement right here. So here's one right here that I disagree with. I dropped Michael Carter for Tyson Williams. I would not have done that. Uh, Tyson Williams, look, he's going to be great week one. But after that, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like he's Tyson Williams, great week one start, maybe even beyond. But I don't know if I want to deal with that type of headache. Um, is you know, Le'Veon Bell, Devontae, Fr- like, all right, we can rank these guys, um, but it doesn't really matter because Latavius Murray is not really known for his passing. So I guess I'll rank at number one, Tyson Williams, number two, Le'Veon Bell, because he's the, the you know, the first guy they signed. Um, and then number three, I mean, I think Latavius Murray is better than Devontae Freeman, but Agreed. Devontae Freeman's a little bit better pass catcher. Um, I guess I would rank Latavius Murray ahead of Devontae Freeman and Devontae Freeman last, and then Trenton Cannon is more of a special teamer. I'd agree with all of those assessments. I don't think Cannon's going to make an impact on the offense necessarily, like you're saying, and the other three, I have them ranked the same way. It's it's very messy, and the Ravens probably haven't got it figured out. But, yeah, Bob's point is very valid, and especially in the beginning. You know, Tyson Williams should be the man. 
And uh, just because you drop Michael Carter, who Michael Carter is not a good week one start, that's not the end of the world at all. Um, you can always sell high on Tyson Williams. You're not going to get much for him, just to be honest. But after he balls out against the Raiders, I think I think you can make I think I think you can get a good deal for him, and then you could go maybe pick pick up uh, Michael Carter again because Michael Carter I think is going to start balling out week five or six. Baltimore doesn't throw to RBs. I saw that, but that's last year. And so like, I don't just base it off. Um, sometimes people can like, sometimes teams continue trends sometimes. Um, oh, this is what I said to one, one person. I said, uh, so they said Baltimore doesn't throw to RBs also said Baltimore doesn't win a lot of playoff games either. So they, they they obviously are doing things to change that. I'm very confident they were going to throw to Dobbins more. I'm very confident they were going to do something with all these wide receivers. I don't know exactly what, but they need to change things. And yeah, when I, you don't win, you got to change. You have to change. And I think they were trying to throw to running backs more this year, but a lot of unforeseen things happened. Weak argument. Well, I mean, well, that's last year, man. That's the past, right? So, you know, you're probably the same guy who said, like, what, Brady likes his slot wide receivers, right? So you went with Chris Godwin last year. That's I heard that everywhere. That's a weak argument. I, I hear this stuff all the time. So what? I was, I'm just so so what? Just because the just because the Ravens haven't thrown to RBs the past two years, they would not do it this year. I don't even get the point. Like, I don't even understand. What's what are the point? What's the point we're making? We're just trying to win in fantasy. Like, I don't yeah, people think the point. You know, history always repeats itself. Which, in but what's the point? They don't throw. Okay, let's say they don't throw to running backs. Well, what's the point? Well, the NFL is so a copycat league. That? So if other teams are doing it and they're getting success out of it, who's to say the Ravens? Yeah, but try but it? I mean, what's the point we're making other than argue? So let's say this guy's right, and the Ravens will never throw to a running back. What are, what are we supposed to do with that? Yeah, I mean, it just means we're still PPR in the same. The we're still table. we're still in the same hole. We're still talking about what to do in fantasy with your fantasy team. We're still it's still a mess, right? So, I mean, is that with this information we're saying Latavius is going to be RB one? I think that's what they're saying. So, I look, I I don't know. Latavius is not that good. Um, it's just going to be a mess. <laughs>